what's that? 42 days since my last upload. Sounds about right. Probably time to do another one. Today we're going to be looking at a family vlogging channel here on YouTube that somehow I haven't seen any other commentary channels make a video on yet called the Royalty Family. Now we're not talking about crowns and Victorian dresses royalty. No man, it's 2020. We're talking about the Gucci bag, Mercedes Benz, pandering to a young ignorant fan base so we can clickbait ridiculous video ideas and make seven figure ad rev every year. Royalty family. So the royalty family started their YouTube channel back in April of 2017, which is almost three years ago exactly. And since then they've amassed just over 7 million subscribers. Holy f fun fact. I started my channel just about a year after the royalty family started theirs. And uh, I've only gained 7,600. So I'm a little behind, but uh, if you sub now, we can catch them. Uh, we can, we can catch them. We can catch them. Some of their most popular uploads include spying on our son and his crush. Asterix, asterix. We caught them. Asterix, asterix. The royalty family. Is this within COPPA terms and conditions? I mean, it sounds a little sketchy to me. You know, it's one thing to pander to your young demographic by making shit content, but it's another thing to use your son and dare I say, exploit his relationships for your fake videos. But holy shit, it has 21 million views. Oh my God, don't worry. I'm sure they spent the probably $50,000 they made off that video very wisely. So many Yeezys. Anyway, other videos include kids turn into adults and parents turn into kids. Asterix challenge. Asterix the royalty family. Buying anything in one color for 24 hours. Challenge. The royalty family. So basically it's morgues. <laughs> So I apologize in advance for putting you through this, uh, but we need to experience this together and hopefully some other commentary channels can join in on the fun because uh, it's bad. Let's peep this buying anything in one color video because I'm a sucker for watching rich people, you know, spend what I make in three months in a 10 minute video and then subsequently making all of it back plus some uh, from the ad rev because it's got 12 million views and it banged. So let's 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 get in here. I just want to see how long we can get through the video before the editor puts like a PNG of some hype beast item on the screen, you know? Uh, you know, something that the 10 year olds are obsessed with like AirPods or Yeezys. We get to shop as much as we want well, three seconds. That's how long it took. Okay, okay, new one. Since that one lasted so long, uh, let's see how long until one of them plugs their Instagram for some shout out contest or fake giveaway. We get to shop as much as we want, but only with one color. One color. Okay. Oh, Fortnite dances. Hell yeah. Oh, is this their, this their intro? Oh, she thick. Oh, no, dude. This is sick. Oh, ballin'. Guy's an absolute mad lad. Look at him. Oh my god. Tell you what, guys. I better hope Mrs. Lush doesn't see this, because she is dying for a Lush Life intro. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised if she bribes me into editing one one day. What's up, Royalty fam? How you doing? Huh? Huh? Let me remind you that everyone on Instagram is doing the handshake. If you guys want to be a part of this handshake and be featured, all you gotta do is this. you <laughs> so less than a minute then until they plug their instagrams if this video wasn't so old i would definitely get on my insta rn and post a handshake and tag them because it's fire <coughs> you before we tell you what the video is about damn girl you are so beautiful mm, thank you so like much if you want to see my mini makeup tutorials you should follow me on my instagram right here under espada tv why does everything have to be a promotion can't a guy just compliment his wife without it turning into a shout out you know and with that being said, follow me on Instagram and smash like on this video and then DM me picture proof that you smash like on this video for a chance to win a new iPhone. I got real. Okay, honestly, the first four minutes of this video is just them telling you to smash like and subscribe and follow them on Instagram and do the handshake and oh, I can't, I can't handle it. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick up from here. We are going shopping hard all over the mall, but we only get to choose one, one color. One color, got go. that from the title. Right, baby, it's a huge mall. Do you have any idea where you wanna go? Okay, let's go to the first floor. Come on, let's go. Okay. Where do you wanna go? No, we're going to the first floor. First What's floor. I'm gonna tell you the store, just follow me. What? I know where, what it is. Don't tell me it's a makeup store. No, no, we're not doing oh makeup. God. Guys, please help me. 
if it's a makeup store, we're all in trouble because she loves to go and spend hours oh and a God. lot of cash in there. By the way, guys, I'm repping the royalty family today, as you can see. You by are the not. Headband. Feel free. Are you promoting some? some the You're pro can you stop for one minute promoting? Sh you sleazy son of a. Bitch. I honestly just I can't put you guys through the whole video. They just everything is so redundant. They just say the same thing over and over again. Everything in pink over here. The store is so pink. Yo, even those are pink. The whole store is pink. And this is pink? The whole store is pink. The is so pink. I honestly don't understand how channels like this are making any money. Same with Morgs and JStation before he was RIP. I don't know a whole lot about COPPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, but basically they fined YouTube for $170 million because YouTube was collecting data from users under the age of 13 without their parents' consent and then using that data to target ads at them. This resulted in a bunch of YouTubers who make content for kids losing a whole bunch of money in ad revenue because their audience is under the age of 13 and no longer getting targeted ads. Yet channels like this and morgues seem to be thriving and you cannot tell me that anyone over the age of 13 is watching this shit. You can't, you no. Tell me there's a single college student that watches this content for fun. Oh boy. One time, one time flex on those haters, you know how we do this. Let me know in the comments if you're actually educated with the whole COPPA YouTube conflict and can explain it more to me. Also, interesting note, the comments are disabled on this video that we're watching right now, um, along with most of their more popular videos. I looked through their top 12 or 15 videos and the comments sections were disabled on all of them. I don't know, it's just interesting. Anyway, let's move on to the next video. I can't with this anymore. So the world is in a very bizarre place right now, you know, and everyone is handling that and reacting to it in their own way. You know, some people are taking it very seriously and stocking up on all of the essentials. And some people are, you know, not really taking it seriously at all. Cough, cough, Florida. Oh. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say cough, cough. I was supposed to cough and then, okay, got it. I just knew that if I coughed, I would get the corona. Ooh. I was close. Anyway, there's a third type of person, not too cautious, not too carefree. The type of person that capitalizes on a worldwide pandemic by insinuating that their ill son had to be removed from school because they think he might have the, you know, the corona. We got unexpected news at Ferran's school. Heartbreak emoji, the royalty family. Okay, anyway, let's watch this train wreck. I just don't wanna get my mom sick or the baby sick because if I get them sick, I don't know what's gonna happen to them. All right, another intro, here we go. Oh, it's new this time. He's an epic gamer, that's nice. Of course, makeup, queen, guru, whatever. Uh-huh, ballin'. This guy's absolute mad lad baller, check him out. No. Are you dead ass? They named their dog Gucci, and he's wearing Louis Vuitton. Come on, man. What's up, royalty fam, how you doing? Um, I know everyone's going crazy all over the world. We just want to hope. What's up with the emojis, man? <laughs> you know, I mean, I get you have a younger fan base, but are you really trying to relate the panic of a worldwide pandemic to the... Oh, sh almost a quarter million people died from coronavirus worldwide. This is the worst of the worst, guys. I'm going to explain from the beginning. This morning, I was at the gym and I received a phone, a phone call from Ferran telling me that he wants me to pick him up earlier. And I asked why. So he said that he has headache and sore throat. Okay, so this was posted on March 13th, so clearly some things have changed since then, schools and gyms being closed. But your, your son is feeling sick, okay? And I completely understand why you would be concerned at a time like this. It's just the lack of self-awareness that kills me. Like you're sitting in your $75,000 BMW with your $5,000 Gucci bag conveniently placed right in the shot, and you're clearly not actually concerned about your son because one, this was probably all planned just for this video. And two, why would you be filming this if this were serious i don't know i'm totally confused because you know yeah. i saw him this morning like really good he was really he took a shower like regular now why the f would they put that there are they asking us the audience if she's lying about her son's health when she saw him in the morning how the f would we know if you're lying that he doesn't want to go to school so we don't know if he's really telling the truth that if he's really sick or he just wants to come home. And also, also- Okay, okay, I get it. So they're asking the audience whether or not we think their son was lying about his health or not. And again, begs the question, how the f 
would we know? I think I'm just taking this too seriously. This content is clearly made for children, small, innocent children who have no concept of YouTubers faking videos. I guess more than anything, it's just pathetic that so many people have to stoop so low making garbage fake content targeted at children, you know, just to make up for the fact that there's nothing about them that makes them unique or funny. I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard on these people. It's just so insufferable. What do you guys think, Royalty Fam? Do um, you guys think this is urgent? Um, I don't know, if I was a kid, I All right, well, let's see what the royalty fam thinks. Oh, wait, the comments are turned off. Okay, so here they're on the phone with the principal of their son's school, allegedly, and really playing this up, doing anything they can to legitimize this story and just make it as dramatic as possible. So we're gonna put our mask on, we're gonna go pick him up, and hopefully he'll tell us the truth. If he's really sick, this video's gonna end up a little differently. I don't know what's gonna happen right now, guys, but if he's not sick, we want him just to tell us the truth and just tell us like, hey, mom and dad, like, I'm just nervous. And we can accept that. The most, the most important thing as a kid, remember guys, be honest with your parents, be straightforward, and we'll, we'll accept it. We'll, we'll appreciate that, right? Exactly. Okay, so a couple things here. We now understand the narrative of this video, which is trying to figure out if their son is actually feeling sick or if he's playing it up a bit because he's scared and he doesn't want to go to school. And secondly, they're actually trying to spread a positive message to their child fan base here, which is be honest with your parents. That's the message they're trying to spread, which is respectable, but also very ironic because most of their content is almost certainly fake. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go pick him up right now, guys. A few moments later. Man. Oh my god, did they make their own Spongebob time card? You know, one of these. A few minutes later. I can actually respect that because those transitions are so overused by YouTubers. It's a pet peeve of mine. 2020 has been crazy. What a disastrous year so far. So many negative things happening. And honestly, guys, that's why we love what we do because... We feel like we can still make millions sitting at home making fake videos about the corona. Not again! We're gonna get through this together as one big family. And we love you guys. I love you too. A few moments oh, later. another SpongeBob time card. Love it, love it. Getting the kid from school. Let's go. Get in the car. Let's go. Sorry. Run. Run. Get in. It's wet. You good? You good? I'm good. Gosh, it's raining hard. Okay, come on. Dude, I feel like they kept that shot in there just to flex the Gucci bag on us. Checkmate, poor people! But we'd like for you to hear it directly from him about what's oh, really no. going on. Uh, for can't be good. Tell the royalty family what's really happening right now. Well, I'm not, I'm not really sick. It's just like... Oh, you lying. Scared, so I just wanted to go home. Uh, but what are you going to cry? What? Because I lied to my teacher. Oh. This kind of feels real, doesn't it? For a second here. It's okay. He's crying. Oh no. It's okay is it real? It's not real. It's okay to is be it? scared, but. Is this real, I mean, man? Like... Look, look, we already talked about what? this in the beginning. It's. Son of a bitch! Is it real? Is it? No. Well, no. I can't. Maybe. No. We got your back, and we hope you guys got our back as well. Farhan, we just want you to know, man, like. Just stay positive. I know you're scared. I know you're nervous. I love it. He's just like, Ferran, we just want you to know we love you and, you know, stay positive and, uh, you know. I'm sorry, that skit probably would have been more funny if I had another camera here and I didn't have to get a PNG off the internet. Well, guys, I don't really know what to make of this. Uh, I mean, it's bad. Cringy, probably fake. I don't know. My buddy Ryan showed me the channel, said it'd be funny if I made a video about them, so I did. You know, and if you didn't like today's video, feel free to send all your hate mail to his Instagram DMs here. Just like this. Perfect. I don't really have a conclusion to this video per se, which sucks because I hate videos that end without a conclusion, but I will say this, all right? Guys, if you're ever feeling down in life, just remember that you will always have what you do. I fall when you start on by the truth and cut through. I'm small and it's true.